bedding and today we're going to finish up some odds and ends basically around the raised beds uh you know what i got the raised beds built and filled and planted so that was the big obstacle i wanted to put wood chips around the raised beds just to keep the weeds down uh you know what i know i'm not going to get in there with a the weed eater enough because i'll be doing all kinds of other things so if I put the wood chips down, that's just gonna keep all the weeds down. Uh, so we're gonna do that today. So I got the water collection system in and I'm gonna throw a bunch of rocks around the bottom so it makes it look a little more country. We're gonna get a load of rocks in the pasture. We're gonna pile them around it and see what that looks like. So we better get at it. definitely have a little bit of rock here for sure so we're gonna load up one bucket load and hopefully that's enough to go around the barrel wow the mosquitoes are horrible I think that's enough So this is what it looks like. I think it looks a lot better. I can't put a watering can under here, but I'm gonna put a little piece of hose so I can put the watering can down here and we can fill up the watering can from the barrel. Otherwise, I'll just put a uh, long hose to it and water some of the plants from here. Okay, so I got my cardboard down and I'm just gonna start putting down the mulch. So I am finished. I got all the chips around the raised beds. Uh, you know what, it turned out to be more of a job than I ever thought it would have been. Uh, you know what, I totally underestimate the amount of work or the amount of time it takes to do things for sure. So I'll show you what I did. I really think that's gonna make a huge difference keeping the weeds uh, from blowing in around the raised beds. I'm probably not the best at uh, getting out there with the trimmer and trimming around the raised beds and then you'll have lots of uh, weed seeds blowing directly into the raised beds but this way they won't even have a chance to really grow i finally got the last of the gardening stuff done so now we can move on to the chicken coop um i have big plans for the chicken coop so uh you'll have to see what i have in store because uh, i always try to do things way too big probably but nevertheless we're getting tons of jobs done around here so that's making me happy so that's about enough for today and you guys have a good one